Hi, my name's Sam and I'm a product design student here at MIT. Today I'm going to be talking about welding and how it's an important maker skill for you to learn. What is welding? Welding is a process by which two materials are joined or fused together. Welding unites metallic parts by heating and allowing the metals to flow together. You might wish to weld together structural space frames, models, boxes and enclosures, sculptures, and similar metallic structures. Welding is useful for creating high-strength, all-metal parts and large assemblies very quickly. But be aware that when you weld things, there can be issues with warping and distortion from the amounts of heat being used and reductions in strength of the material because it gets melted. There are two common types of welding, MIG, which stands for metal inert gas welding, and TIG, which stands for tungsten electrode inert gas welding. In industry, these may be referred to as GMA and GTA, which stand for gas metal arc welding and gas tungsten arc welding, respectively. MIG is typically used to weld mild and alloy steel. It's a very quick process and relatively common across college campuses. TIG can be used to weld steel, aluminum, bronze, and many other metals. It's more precise, but usually a much slower process. So how does welding work? In a nutshell, welding uses an electric arc to heat metal to its melting point. At this point, filler wire ejected from the welder is instantly melted onto the two pieces of metal, connecting them into one solid piece. Today I'm going to be creating a primitive door handle, which will consist of a flat piece of steel with mounting holes drilled in it, welded to a 180 degree bent steel rod. To create my door handle, I first cut down a long piece of flat steel stock to the correct size. I used a center punch to denote where I wanted holes, and then I used a hole punch to actually create the holes. I took the long steel rod, cut it down to size using the cold saw, and then used a pipe bender to get it to the correct 180 degree angle. I then used magnet fasteners to hold these two parts to the table while I MIG welded around the sides. As with all shop tools, there are a few hazards that accompany welding, so appropriate safety equipment is very important. Bright UV, infrared, and visible light from the art can blind or sunburn, so make sure to wear a protective helmet designed for welding. Hot metal can burn your skin, so wear thick gloves and a welding jacket. Fumes emitted from welding can be toxic, so always use exhaust ventilation. Sparks can start fires, so always work in approved hot workshops. And finally, always remember to protect your eyes, skin, ears, and lungs. So now that you know what welding is, how it works, and what it can do, it's time to go out and make something. Locate welding equipment and hot workshops on Mobius, or browse the app to discover new tools and where they're located on campus. Thanks for watching, good luck, and have fun welding.